Two decades ago, the prospect of war in Iraq was dividing the country, and Labor leader Simon Crean was making the case for peace. This war is wrong. Australia should not be in it. He's already committed our troops to war without a mandate from the Australian people. Standing before a president, Simon Crean didn't back down. On occasions, friends do disagree, as we did on this side, with you on the war in Iraq. Had his call been heard, picked up in the United States and the United Kingdom and, and of course, by the Australian government, the Middle East would not be the mess that it is. Simon Crean spent 23 years in federal parliament, first winning the Melbourne seat of Hotham in 1990. Simon Crean, how are you? The tie with his constituents carries on. I'm very sad. I've known him since I was... Ten. He's someone that was very important at one stage in our lives and uh, did a good job. He was secretary of the ACTU and a cabinet minister in four Labor governments, but never led the party to an election. Don't put a revolving door on the entrance of the opposition leader's office. That door only leads to permanent opposition. Making way for Mark Latham in 2003. Well, I don't know anyone in the Labor Party who thinks it's a good idea now that we made Mark Latham leader. A long ministerial career came to an unusual end a decade later. Kevin Rudd, in my view, has no alternative but to stand for the leadership. A political implosion in 2013, leading to retirement ahead of the election that year. This brings to something of an end uh, a commitment I've had to the Labor movement for over 40 years. He kept working, building trade ties abroad while also a passionate North Melbourne fan and a much-loved husband, father and grandfather. A giant of the Labor Party and Australian politics.